Are you tired of tying up your tomatoes only to have them crash and fall on the ground at the end of the season because the sun has just baked and eaten through whatever cordage you use to tie them up? Well, we're gonna talk about the absolute best cordage or string that I've ever found in today's video. Let's talk about it. Hey, we still have a lot of t-shirts in our merchandise store. So if you're interested in some of these, go head over to the shop tab on our main page. Let's talk about two things that we used a lot in the past, and that is like a nylon construction string. Some of them are cotton, but they're very, very hard to find. You can find a butcher's twine that's cotton, but that is quite expensive. And then of course, the classic jute twine. Now jute twine is made, it's a natural fiber. It's made from the jute plant. And that's great, it biodegrades really easy, but there's a problem with that. And the problem is its strength. This is a piece of jute twine that has been out in our garden for only one year. And you can see, that was barely any pressure to break that jute twine. And this is the thicker jute twine. This is the four ply jute twine. And look at that, that's two layers of it. So if you're using it to hold up a really heavy laden tomato plant like we have behind us then that's going to break and fall on the ground and i've had that happen so many times it got so annoying so the next thing i'm going to show you is the absolute best garden twine garden string cordage that i've ever used and that is paracord regular 550 parachute cord that they sell all over the place to preppers and I recommend gardeners that you use this in your garden because why? Well, it's incredibly strong. You're not going to get a tomato plant that holds over 550 pounds of tomatoes on it and have this break. Second, it lasts for an incredibly long period of time and let me show you something over here. This is our asparagus trellis and it's holding up the ferns from just flopping everywhere. We use cordage on this to keep those ferns in an upright position. And this paracord that's on here right now has been out in our garden for five years in this hot baking Texas sun. And that's the thing, friends, this hot Texas sun is gonna eat through anything really fast. In fact, it's going to do it whatever your climate that sun radiation is really powerful. So you want to get things that are going to last in the garden. We've started to use a lot of wire to try up or tie up things like raspberries. These little clips that we used to buy just disintegrate after about a year. Hey, now I know you're worried about cost. So right toward the end of the video, we are gonna talk about that and you're gonna be surprised. So let's talk about what paracord is. A ton of preppers use it in their packs for cordage, for bugging out, and for um, hiking, camping, et cetera, et cetera. It is incredibly versatile because it is incredibly strong, but it was invented back for parachutes in World War II. It's made of nylon, it's got fibers on the inside and a jacket on the outside. Now, when you're using paracord, you need to have a lighter because once you cut this, it's going to start to fray you need to seal the end up for it to be very, very useful because this middle portion will just pull, start to pull out and the jacket will start to like crumple up around it. So you have to have a lighter handy when using this. And you're gonna wanna burn everything back and melt everything back actually until it kind of seals itself together and melts itself together, the jacket and the strings on the inside because if you don't do that, then that jacket is going to slip down again and those strings will just come out the end and it's gonna kind of mess everything up. So make sure it's sealed really solid like that, both the inner and the outer portion of it. Now, one thing I didn't mention because I don't use it here is that poly nylon uh, netting or poly nylon string. That stuff is not good at all. It breaks down very, very, very fast in the sun. That stuff, that like the twine that you can get to tie things up, the Home Depot or Lowe's when you're putting a load in your vehicle, don't use that at all. So these are our determinate type of tomatoes and we have these supported in a Florida weave style or a modified Florida weave style of trellis. 
and you can see we've got our old, our five-year-old paracord on here. It has no problems at all. We've also got it wrapped with some of the new paracord just because we didn't have enough of the old. We've got a ton of tomatoes this year. And then of course we have used paracord on our shading cloth. It's very versatile. You can use it anywhere in the garden. We've got it in three or four different places. But be aware, paracord does stretch. In the mil spec versions, it stretches up to 30%. So kind of factor that into what you're doing. Then of course you can see that we have our indeterminate style tomatoes that we have uh, strung up with paracord and supported with paracord up to this bar up in the top of our big trellis poles here. So that's how we do this style of trellis. If you're interested in the two styles of trellises that we do, check out these videos at the top of the screen. Also, if you're interested in how we do our shading in our garden, click on this video at the top of the screen. Okay, here's the other amazing thing about paracord is that you can use it for about a thousand other things on your homestead. Here's just one example of what we've done with paracord here. We've made this overstrike collar for our ax and it performs amazingly well. If you haven't seen that video, click at the top of the screen. So prices are gonna fluctuate a little bit because of the crazy inflation and uh, pricing differences that are out there. I bought this jute twine in 2020, used it for last season, 2021, and it lasted just that one season. For 165 feet, it was $17. Now you're saying, well, I can get it cheaper than that. Well, that was the absolute best price that I could find at that time and that was on Amazon. So this year I bought more paracord. This is a thousand foot spool. It was more uh, economic to do it that way and to buy it in a big spool and I recommend you do that. This thousand foot spool was $61. So if you do the math, the jute twine is about 10 cents a lineal foot and the paracord is six cents a lineal foot. Like I said, I bought this from Amazon. I also bought the paracord from Amazon. And that's simply because trying to find things like this out in the stores that are near me, which is a smaller town, is not easy at all. So then factor in the fact that this lasts one year and this, as you could see from our old stuff, is five years and running. This is much more economical. Yes, you're gonna have to spend 60 bucks, 65 bucks to start with, but it is well worth it. So would you rather have something super strong that is not gonna break down or something that is organic that just disintegrates after one year? You should choose the paracord. As always, if you have any questions, leave them for me in the comment section below. Now it's time for me to pick some cantaloupes because they are ripening really quickly. Have a beautiful blessed day. We will see you on the next video. Bye.